Hello, hey Planet Watchers, how's everybody doing? I'm doing very well, I've fully recovered from COVID by now and I'm quite happy to say that, so I'm back 100% operational. And there is a lot to operate upon in Planet Watch, there are lots of things going on, so let's get straight into an update. Now, first of all, I'm glad to confirm that we are closing the sales for the Q4 2021 batch. Uh, all emails have been sent out, I believe, by today, and that's and that's a good thing. Incidentally, it's probably useful to clarify what do I mean by this. What is Q4 2021 sensor batch, and who is entitled to buy a sensor based on that batch? So, unfortunately, if you buy a sen if you buy a license, say December 2021. As you know, especially for type 1 and type 3 sensors, you get placed on a waiting list to have your chance to buy a corresponding sensor. Unfortunately, at the moment, if you buy your license during the fourth quarter of 2021, it is not guaranteed that you can buy your sensor in the same quarter. So when I talk about Q4 2021 batch for sensors, this refers to the projected time frame when you'll be able to buy a sensor which could be typically one quarter later than when you bought your your license so please bear this in mind if you buy on december the 30th your license you don't belong unfortunately to q4 2021 for sensor buying but as i said we are working on this i see uh the time lag between buying a license and buying the la the sensor shrinking in 2022 because uh, we are doing lots of things to to, to achieve this uh, okay so talking about sensors i like to give you a juicy preview of something so i mentioned uh, some new sensors coming up and in particular i did mention already i believe that there will be at least two new type 2 devices and one of them anticipated will use helium natural connectivity so have a look at this little movie so what you see in this little movie is a helium uh, router the flat thing here it is a funny object and please bear with us for the looks the looks are not final and it's not that pretty at the moment i understand and then we have a helium console and you will see in a second that when we turn the the sensor on again this is an air quality Planet Watch Type 2 sensor measuring PN 2.5. We turn it on and you will see streams of data starting to go through the, the helium console, through the helium router, as you see from uh, what happens on the right hand side of the screen. So this thing works. This thing uses the helium network for connectivity. And that, as I anticipated, this is the first step in a roadmap, uh, in a partnership roadmap, let's say. So, um, this is a, pro a working prototype. Uh, we have not finalized all the details in terms of materials, looks, and pricing, which will definitely be below the, the 500 euros marks, just to anticipate the question. Uh, so, let me explain the, where we are now. Uh, we are working on a, a number of new sensors and the statement is the following. Uh, our goal now is to release at least two type two new sensors and a new type four to make them available for sale by the end of Q1 2022. This is the goal and I think it's achievable. Now, uh, you might wonder whether um, it makes sense for you to buy a, a type two license at this stage. Now, I'm not gonna push you to buy anything as I never do especially because I'm not fully comfortable with the fact that we have not set the price yet. But uh, so you do what you want, you, you choose. Uh, having said this, the moment we release type two sensors, uh, if there is a lot of demand, there will be a waiting list. And of course, people who own at that time, a type two license will have priority. And we will set up, we are setting up automatically if you want a, a type two waiting list based on the order of a purchase of Type 2, two licenses. So if you like what you see, if you are fairly confident with the fact that we have not yet 
ironed out all the details and you want to be one of the first to have a chance to buy them, you may want to buy a Type 2 license. If you like to have a more clear picture, which I fully understand, well, just wait for more details as soon as we are able to release them. Uh, these are, this goes for all sensors. Uh, as soon as we, whenever we sell directly a sensor in one of the four types, we will offer first to people who own licenses which are not being used already on other devices, obviously. So you do what you want. That's the that's a general picture, and uh, yeah, that's that's a simple message for you. But I, I I wanted to show you a little video just to put some substance behind the words. There is a lot of work going on in the background, and this is just a small peek into what we're doing in terms of testing and uh, optimizing devices. Okay, now let's move into the Q and A part of the of this session. Quite a few interesting sessions, uh, questions. Okay, first question: What's the interval for sensor calibration for Type One sensor calibration? So we said several times that some of some sensors require recurrent calibration in order to keep their performance. Type One sensors are very uh, high spec machines. Uh, we anticipate that. Most likely, we will need some recalibration for Type 1 every two years. We will, when the time comes, we will uh, sketch uh, the process in details. We will uh, bear most of the costs that I, I promised several times. So it's not something I would say you should have to worry about now. So if your sensor is performing well now, um, it's very early to, to worry about calibration, recalibration. Next question is about uh, commercials. So when do we expect the data that you guys are streaming to be sold? Any interest on the market? And another question is about whether the collaboration with the Helium network would create value. Now, concerning selling data uh, streamed from PlanetWatch sensors, I think there will be two stages, uh, of two types of sales. Uh, some sales will be will happen on a local basis when we get high density in a specific city, in a territory, and we get interest from local governments. So that's one sale mechanism. Uh, another mechanism is a global one, which will require a bit more time. When we become overall big enough in terms of uh, coverage to raise interest from the likes of uh, Google Maps, then that will be another type of sale obviously so when we tap when we start talking to providers of global mapping apps or health and fitness apps they will want to see very good coverage on a global basis so for local projects we are having a, as, a, as we speak active discussion with a number of uh, administrations the best known one the one that we have advertised is the discussion with the city of Miami where the mayor has uh, already announced a collaboration with us. And we are, of course, discussing the details of this. Regarding Helium, Helium Network, as I said, we are at early discussion stages between this, our two companies, but we do see strong potential synergies. So PlanetWatch, if you think about it, can both be a use case for Helium, and you've just seen a video where we prove this. Use case means that our devices need connectivity and they can use Helium's connectivity. That's easy in a way, conceptually. Uh, we can also become a global partner where we leverage each other's community and network. So they have a bigger network, a big, bit bigger than ours. We have a fast growing network. So there could be a, an interesting scenario where the Helium community is exposed to the possibility to get a planet to a sensor and vice versa, and we both scale faster. As I said, we are working on this. There's no point in elaborating too much at this stage, but we see value in this. Next question. Why isn't tracking information sent to customers via email? Okay, this is one of our current shortcomings in terms of customer service, I must say. So when you buy a sensor from us, we give the sensor to a shipping agent, to a courier, and they, will be sending to you a tracking number. However, in the meantime, there might be a few days between this, uh, before this happens. So we should uh, 
give you a preliminary confirmation that we have a given the sensor to the courier. So I think we must improve a bit more, a bit in terms of our customer service and order follow up. I think this guy's right. I will do it as soon as possible. Question about Canada. Canada is a country which is very, uh, very keen and um, interested in uh, sustainability. People say we are paying a carbon tax in Canada. I'm sure Canada will find your census data useful. Have you approached the Canadian government? Not directly. We are currently talking to some large corporate Canadian players who are very interested in partnering with Planet Watch. And you see uh, corporate partners, sometimes people in the community get worried about us working with large companies which could monopolize sensors and blah, blah, blah. Uh, as I said several times, we, we do this for the benefit of Planet Watch when we have talk to corporate partners. And sometimes corporate partners can be instrumental into helping us get in touch with governments and local institutions. So when we when we set up a partnership with a corporate, with a corporate, it's not just about selling some sensors, it's about getting help from a local player, for example, to talk to the government. And I'm, I'm, we are exploring these kind of scenarios at the moment. Uh, likewise, I have a question about the UK there was an announcement from the government that they were placing air quality monitors in schools. Have we looked into participating in this? Yes. Again, as I said, it's still a bit, bit difficult for us to move directly on a global scale and grab all opportunities worldwide, just because the number of opportunities for Planet Watch on paper is infinite, is insane. It's growing every day. So since we cannot, at the moment, set up a subsidiary in every country in the world, and it probably wouldn't make sense anyway, we are working a lot on developing partnership with a strong, reliable partners, which can be instrumental in helping us get into governmental rooms and participate into large scale projects like the one that was mentioned here. So this opportunity, thank you for uh, raising this. I'll be discussing this with some UK partners. Uh, Okay, now since I mentioned that we are talking to Helium, somebody is asking me, are you also talking to these other projects? Are you talking to X, Y, and Z? Can you promise you won't do business with XXX? So please don't ask me to promise anything. I'm a good boy, but. <laughs> so we'll be reviewing, the promise is we review all partnerships very carefully. We assess whether there is value for Planet Watch, whether there are risks. In the past, maybe we have not assessed risks carefully enough in some cases. We are improving this. We learn our lessons. So we don't onboard anybody, just anybody. So I won't promise and I won't comment on any rumor like, I heard you're going to work with this. Please don't work with that. I'm not going to comment on this. I'm a good boy. You must trust us and you should not trust rumors in any case. <clears throat> Sorry. Now, a technical issue. Can we correct the address in the Planet Watch app for, uh, for some devices, in particular aware elements? Now, there was a problem surfacing a few days ago with, uh, with the red triangle, right? The location-related problem. That problem, that very problem has been solved. So devices which are already in the network should please check the location of the device on the Explorer and see whether it matches your actual location. Um, new devices should uh, input their actual position, the real position, and then check on the Explorer if it's going through. If it doesn't look right on the Explorer, please modify it directly on, in the Explorer. I know it's a bit. This is a bit sounds a bit cumbersome, and it is. In the next app upgrade the promise that it will be much easier, hopefully seamless, to insert your actual position. Okay, again about Helium collaboration. So some people is saying, hey, what you've been telling about Helium is not clear enough. Some people think that your new sensor device will mine Helium tokens as well as planets. 
Can you please clarify? Yes, let me clarify. What I just showed you is an air quality sensor, Planet Watch air quality sensor, which uses helium network connectivity to broadcast the data. So the sensor, the Planet Watch sensor per se, has nothing to do with, um, it's not producing, of course, HMT tokens. So this is the first stage of the partnership. We are using helium connectivity. We are not getting involved on, on providing it. Later on, there might be other products, other avenues, right? But for the time being, and, and that refers to the video that I showed you, we are testing devices which can use helium network connectivity. That's all. And But, but this could be the beginning of a, a longer story, obviously. Last question is a important one and painful one. So some owners of aware element type 4 sensors have been experiencing a number of difficulties. And uh, somebody's saying, I still have problems. It doesn't look like things have been fixed. Uh, what are you doing about it? So as I said last time, we are talking to aware. We are more than talking. We are requiring from them proposal to fix a number of issues and I I'm expecting feedback from them in the coming days now since I'm very transparent as you know I, I know I appreciate that aware owners aware element owners are somewhat dissatisfied so we will find a solution uh, people who are considering now whether to get an aware element well up to you guys we have been transparent about the fact that there are some challenges so you decide you may want to wait before purchasing a device uh, we're not going to give any advice with respect to that there are some difficulties uh, which have been going on for too long I'm not happy about it I'm still trusting this company to come up to come back to us with a satisfactory solution in the coming days we as Planet Watch will find solutions one way or another okay right that was reasonably fast I believe but uh, hopefully reasonably exhaustive so thank you very much for your attention rushing back to work as long as I'm healthy I, I want to get a lot done and I'll be healthy obviously so thank you for your uh, commitment keep watching the planet we are growing very fast and I believe we can grow fast in a sustainable way in 2022. So let's do it. Let's work, let's work together and let's watch the planet and protect it. Thank you. Bye-bye.